Good evening and welcome to Pelham and Torwood. It's lovely to have you kids and I hope you are enjoying this. As you can see, we've gone from one spotted cat to another. Now, my name is Tristan, as James mentioned, and on camera today I've got Viam the Wildebeest and we have been fortunate enough to come down the road and find this beautiful leopard sitting in the middle of it and just taking it nice and easy. So, if you've got any questions about the leopard, feel free to ask. You can ask your teachers to send through any questions that you might have. We'd love to hear from you guys and hear all the questions that you have on any of the African animals out here and we'll try our best to answer as many as possible. But enough of me. Let's have a look at this beautiful male that is sitting ever so nicely in the road. Ah. Mrs. Henderson, good evening to you, ma'am. I feel like I have to say ma'am because when I was at school, we had to call our teachers ma'am, and it's only polite. You want to know what time it is? Mrs. Henderson, it is 20 past six in the evening. It's just, the sun has just set about five minutes ago, and this male leopard, we were looking for him all afternoon, and he was hiding from us and taking it nice and easy in the shade, but now as it gets a little bit cooler, so he's going to start waking up and begin his territorial patrol as he moves around, and also he's going to be looking for food. Now, we did see him this morning, and he was quite hungry, so I think he's definitely going to be looking for any signs of prey items that may be around. Oh, you can see he's got a big itch there on his chin, so he's giving himself a good scratch. Isn't he beautiful? Look at that. Look at those eyes. Absolutely magnificent. Now a leopard is my favorite animal. They are just the masters of disguise. Earlier when we were here, he was right near us and we just couldn't see him for the life of us. And only now that he's come right out into the open are we managing to get a good view. So their solitary lifestyle and the way that they can just blend into their environment really makes them appeal to me. And makes them one of my favorites. Also, a male leopard has got to be one of the most powerful animals out here in terms of weight to weight ratio. They are very, very strong. And look, he's gonna stand up. Now, I'm going to just reverse with him so that we can keep him in front and we can see his beautiful face. Now, I don't want him to get too close because otherwise I'm going to maybe push him off the road and I would rather he stayed on the road. So we're just going to slowly back up as he walks. But isn't that magnificent? Look at that. And you can his face is a little bit dirty. He's been rolling around in the sand. So all that is sand on his face. Tingana, what have you been doing? So he's obviously had his head somewhere. Now I wonder actually if he hasn't been trying to hunt warthogs. So warthogs like to spend their time in burrows in termite mounds or in holes in the ground and male leopards love warthogs. And so he maybe has stuck his head inside a termite mound and that's why we're seeing this dirt all over his forehead. It's very seldom that you'll actually see a dirty leopard. Leopards are very good at grooming themselves, but Mr. Tingana, you are looking very dirty today, my boy. You need to groom that face out a little bit. Naomi and Imani, you wondering what is a leopard's favorite food and what is he looking for? Well, he's looking for at the moment any small to medium sized antelope. So his favorite antelope will probably be something like an impala. Now an impala for us is like a white tailed deer that you have in the United States. That's about the same size. Oh, he's doing a bit of scent marking. Maybe he's gonna vocalize for us. I hope he does, because he makes this amazing sound. But he'll go after medium sized antelope. Then like I said, like warthogs, which is like a wild boar or a pig, an African wild pig and then he will also go after varying other prey items. Because he's quite a large male, I've seen this particular male take baby giraffe, and I've also seen him hunt um, baby elephants, not to any success, but I have seen him bring down a baby giraffe and also young wildebeest. In fact, the one of the sightings I had of him, he managed to kill two young wildebeest that were about a year old, which is a very, very, very big animal for a leopard to bring down. So it's amazing the amount of he had to be able to bring that down and to kill two of them was incredible and what he did was he put these two wildebeest into a tree on either side of the road so if you parked on the road all you saw was a wildebeest and then another wildebeest on the other side and this big male leopard look how he's smelling the air now as well so he's sniffing now while he is scent marking and patrolling like this he is also going to be looking out for food most of the time it's going to be in a 
territorial patrol but as he patrols he will look for food as well and if there is any sign of those antelope you'll see he'll stop and try and get into the bush and he's going to go to